Right, so just a quick video uh, before we start here, guys. I've This should be where the stun gun is. Believe it or not, I've been trying this for over an hour now. I hate this puzzle. It's stupid. It's not fun. I mean, it's interesting, but it's not fun. It's not enjoyable. It's just massively, massively irritating. Um, and all these like animations and stuff that you have to keep cycling through that I'm glad you can skip. Here it is. Thank fuck for that. <sighs> I've been through all of these rooms. And even one of the wiki guides says uh, you can look through the peepholes and see the, the stun gun on the table. You can't. You can't. Um, you can look through the holes, but the stun gun doesn't appear on the table. So, uh, at least not in this emulated version or whatever, but there we go. We found the stun gun. It's probably useless. Um, I have, in all of my research, found out that it is apparently good against one type of enemy. Um, but apart from that, it's basically useless. So, I've probably completely balked up my, um, uh, time for this game now. But, we we did it. We got it. We got the stun gun. Took, yeah, well over an hour. Well over an hour to get this. But we've got it. Thank fuck for that. Right, I will see you guys in a minute. Let me go and reset this puzzle. And uh, then we can get the fuck out of here. And man, this game. <sighs> I've had three days off, right? First day off was just lumbered with PC problems. Yesterday, my recording time was ruined because I couldn't use my mic or I muted my mic. And today I've wasted most of my recording time trying to get this bloody stun gun, which I got like that in my last videos. Um, by accident. Ah, just puzzle, man. I'm telling you. Not fun. Hey guys, right, and we are back. You should have just seen a little snippet of me getting the stun gun. Right, I believe I put everything back to the way it was. Now, let's go and finish this. Um, worth noting that after... Piss off. I'm just going to run through these guys. Fuck them. They're not worth fighting. Um, when we enter this room, I've never been in this room before. So this is all new to me. Uh, is there anything to pick up in here? Now the light's in here. No. Right, there was a plaque on this door. But I took that off in the last episode, I think. But I have put it back in the item box. Now, what was the code? It was like 0 0302. Oh, uh, three. So weird that A is the action button unless you're in, in the inventory. And if you're in the inventory, X is the action button. Consistency, yo. O2. Okay, let's have a little look in through here. Fuck this puzzle, though. Seriously. Oh. Oh, I guess he did die in, well, 18 of 21. Sorry, bro. We tried to help you. I guess he drowned. Damn. I guess nobody gets out alive then. Hmm. So I'm guessing we're going to meet someone in every area that we go to that's going to die. Ok, 
Okay, so what's happening outside? If anything, double checking that I'm actually recording audio this time. Yeah, that's where I got the number from. Bar Southfield. Hmm. Alright, well, let's go through here, see if anything's changed. So we've got th three three plaques. Sounds like Ah, oh, there's another note through the door. Sounds like there's running water. Which I'm guessing is in here. No, I guess not. Washing machine, don't need that right now, yeah. Okay, let's go back out into here. Let's read the note before we do anything. Um, Rerunning this game is going to be interesting. Uh, yeah, let's save it. In a minute, after we read the note. Let's have a little look through here, see if anything's going on. Don't go out, Walter. Yes, we know that. Walter. Ah. There's another handprint there. It's just like staring at my door. Dude, like, fuck off. I'm jealous of the fact that you can just leave whenever you want. I guess there's nothing going on out there now. Right, let's have a little read of this note. Hang on. Yeah, Walter Sullivan. Walter! Yeah, could say so Walter must have been in this room at some point then. Not just the detective. Uh, can't remember what the detect. I haven't got the detective's name written down. I can't remember what he was called. So, I found something that's extremely effective against the ghosts. It saved my life. It was stuck to the huge rock in the woods near the orphanage. It's a sword blade with a handmade triangle-shaped wooden handle. There's some kind of spell written on it. As a weapon, it's heavy and hard to carry. But somehow, it seems to change in response to the ghost, ghost victim's power. So, the ghost, ghost victim's... I guess they're all the victims, the 18 dead people, maybe? Have we seen 18 ghosts? Well, technically, three people have died. I don't know. Might have to research that. Uh, strike when the sword is energized. Uh, if you don't reduce their power, your attacks will be repelled. As far as I know, there are only five swords in existence with that kind of power. It's extremely valuable. It's five swords to find. Okay. Thought there was something else written there then. Right, let's go save it now. Definitely when we rerun the game, we will not be saving like barely at all. So go no there. Let's save. Yeah, I wasted so much time trying to get that bloody stun gun. Nearly an hour. But that's not including all the reloads to try and save time. Uh, never mind. Um, yeah, let's carry the stun gun with us. I mean, that still gives us probably, what, five spaces? We've got... I don't know how many inventory slots we've got. I'm guessing... I'm guessing maybe ten. I guess the water's coming from here. I guess the hole has increased in size once more. Yep. And that's got bloody. Blood. It's stained with blood. It smells horrible. Just like that water-filled room under the cylindrical prison. Well, that's... Definitely getting bigger. The hole's even bigger now. There's a lot of noise coming from inside the hole. Will we go in? Not yet. Let's go have a look at uh, Eileen's room. See what she's up to. Although I don't know if there's any, like any point in doing that because 
but I was just... You can cycle through all of her different stages. Oh, we can hear talking outside. Just him either. There's uh, something wrong with this whole apartment. Huh. What? It smells. Like noise. Okay. So, was he called Richard, the superintendent? Uh, I haven't got his name down. Um, okay. Why does he have an umbilical cord? At least... Ah, there is... So, it's him that's putting the notes through the door. Or is this one going to be different? There's a scrap of red paper stuck here. Stained with blood and I can't... Ah. Superintendent's memo in your scrapbook. But... But we can't read it though. Is there any way we could, like, I don't know, clean it or something? I mean, I guess not. Unless um, anything that someone from the outside world tries to put through doesn't go through properly, perhaps? Hmm. But he knows something. He blatantly knows something. All right, let's go in. Definitely need to write his name down. Where the fuck are we now? So, some kind of like apartment world? I guess. So we've got a return portal there, but nothing else. So where's this then? So we've had like a forest world. We've had... Um, I can't remember, the uh, subway world and the prison world, the water prison. So what's this? Right, one second, guys. I'll be right back. What are we on? 12 minutes. Sorry about that, guys. I just had to check in with the missus. She just finished work. So... You just make sure she's okay. Right, where were we? 
Oh, yeah, we just got to the new world, didn't we? Um. Okay. Well, this place sounds a little bit more lively. There's some gunshots and all. What's a car doing here? Well, I don't know. <clears throat> There's also lots of Ghibli monster sounds. Um, can we go in through here? <clears throat> no, we can't. <clears throat> oh, what the fuck is that? It's a monkey. Come on, monkey boy. You and me. Yeah, I see your aim is as bad as mine. Yep, my aim is total suckage. There we go. Have that, you fuck. Boom! Oh, I like. <laughs> That's like a weird monkey man. Like, I... Did they even try with the monsters in this game? They're not, like, intimidating or scary in the slightest. <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, right, anyway, so I guess we can go down. Can we go in this door? No. <clears throat> so let's keep going. Oh. What is that neon light? Is this like the bar place that we can see outside our window? Nah, I don't think so. <clears throat> Whoa. Ouch. Damn it. <laughs> Where the hell am I? Is this like It's like fell? You're a real person. I think so. Hey. You're the guy that lives across from me. We've seen him yeah. sitting on the bed. My name's Henry. I'm Richard Braintree from 207. Richard Braintree. What the hell's happened to us? The whole in this freaking world. <laughs> but if you're here too. Richard Braintree. Must explain what happened to that other guy, too. What other guy? The guy who lived in 302 before you. Ah! Journalist. <clears throat> he disappeared one day. He got pretty crazy towards the end. <sighs> Shut himself up in his room and wouldn't come out. Harry's... Oh, not Harry. Henry. Oh, what? Wait, 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 wait. So we've just, like, re-spawned into the action and there's an enemy just where we were talking. Okay, that's cool. <clears throat> so Richard Braintree from 207, I think he said. The guy that lived opposite us. Quite often we saw him sitting on the bed. Um... So it's not just our apartment, then. It's the whole... Or at least multiple apartments. Okay, that's kind of strange. Because Eileen's apartment has not gone weird. Like, is everybody so far that has been killed, are they all residents of this place? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, fuck, there's two of them. Well, luckily, they don't appear to be too bad. Ooh, clout. Come on, monkey boy. Let's do this. Boop. 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 You know, they don't attack that fast. Let's use this bad boy. Oh, God. Zappy. Oh, my God. That's so slow as well. Hey, monkey boy. Boop. Wait, what? This kills them in one? Hmm, further research is needed. Okay, that's strange. So, our friend Richard, 
Yeah. Seen this sign before, but even so, where am I? Yeah, so this is... That's the sign I thought it was. So we're on the other side of the apartment. Oh. Well, that sounds delightful. Lock is broken. Can't open the door. The door's shut tight. Won't open at all. Okay. What the fuck is this? Oh! Ah, oh, that's got to be one of the swords. There's a weird sword stuck in his stomach and he's holding something in his hand. Yeah. Got the ghost key. The key that, that the ghost was holding. Do we take the sword out? No, let's leave the sword where it is for now. Like... So... There's five of these swords in the game. And they pin ghosts to the ground permanently to stop them fucking with you. Which is cool. But does that mean that ghost now, that one that's pinned, is not going to attack us at all? Like, are there only, like, say, four ghosts per level and you can pin them all down? I don't know. I don't know the best way to use them. Some, that sound they make is cool though. Let's let's take it. Sure. Sword of obedience. Extremely rare weapon. When used against a down ghost, it stops them in place. When pulled out, the ghost is revived. Okay. Use the, oh, that's the ghost key. So is he gonna follow us around now? Oh, there's leeches here. I'd rather have the sword, to be honest. Wow, this place is gribbly. Whoa. The fuck is that? Are these doors? No. That ghost, they don't seem to follow you room to room. At least not so far. I mean, that's... something. Oh, fuck. Or so I thought. Maybe he is. Oh, shit. What is that? Okay, I have no idea what that was. Got weird sounds again. I don't know what that is. Well, I mean, I guess we're going through this door. Oh, hello. So that's a ghost again. What does this do? Nothing, I suppose. Dude, can you fuck off? Alright, so that's the door we came in. Where does this one go? Oh, no, that's the door we came in. That's confusing. So we can go through this one. Ah, right, progress. So what's going on in here then? We've got, what the hell? Something breaks. Hmm. We've got some handgun bullets, which, I mean, we don't need them though. Like, what's, the... I don't understand the point of the handgun so far. It doesn't appear to be like any bosses in the game, at least so far. Wow, this place is a maze, man. And another golf club. I mean, I guess we'll take it. Five iron. Yeah. I suppose there's no point in not taking them. Nothing else inside. It's filled with volleyballs. There are all sorts of sports supplies, but nothing particularly interesting. 
is an aluminium bat. Take the aluminium bat. Yes. Aluminium alloy bat. Reasonably powerful and easy to use as a weapon. So, like, does that break? Could break easily. It doesn't mention that that breaks. Looks like it's got slightly shorter range. Oh, the charge time on it's slower. Oh, nice. I like. Yeah. Okay, well, let's roll with this for now anyway, see what happens. The shelf is about to fall apart, but there's nothing interesting in it, though. Okay. Um, oh, there's a portal to return home. Let's return home and jiggle all of our stuff around. Uh, we need to put back some bullets. We need... What else do we need? And we can find out what this world is called as well. But I don't want to save it just yet. I mean, I guess we could save it. It doesn't read. Oh. Oh. Hello. Well met, human. Who's making all this banging? I suppose someone's trying to come into our room. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. I can't open the door, but, you know. Better check your neighbor soon. Oh. Eileen. Um. Okay. She's okay so far. I'm guessing she's going to get pulled into this world eventually as well. That is just a guess. I mean, it seems fairly obvious after what we've just heard. So what's this new world called? Bill... Bill... <laughs> Building world. Cool. Cool. Wow. Just wow. I mean, they didn't, they could be bothered, could they? Just like, ah, fuck it. Aluminium bat. I mean, I suppose. If it does break, we can always come back, I suppose. Um. Do we even need, like. Is there any point in even carrying the handgun? I mean, those monkeys, which are a new enemy, are. A joke, really. The ghosts, yes, they're a pain in the ass, but they are fairly easy to avoid. I, mean, I suppose we can keep 10 bullets on us. Um, the stun gun seems to kill in one hit, which is really weird. And I suppose we'll keep the Sword of Obedience for now. Yeah. Okay. So, what time are we on? We're on like 25 minutes. Don't really have time to do much more, but I suppose we can go back in. Kind of really up against the time right now, to be honest, guys. Uh, I just, man, why is it this game gets interesting when I have to stop playing? So, we've got our bat and our sword of obedience. Is there more doors that we can go back through? Because we can go back through here. Like, is there any point in pinning the ghost out? I mean, maybe there are areas later on that just get so saturated with ghosts. Oh. Okay, there's nothing actually else here. And we've just gone the wrong way. 
So this is get away, you dickhead. Yeah, those ghosts really aren't up to much, to be honest. Um, right. So we've got two doors to choose from here. Uh, it's locked. Well, that narrows the search down in quite a bit. Oh, my dudes. This looks really, really silent hill. And there's a big monster. Hey, I bet we're going to run into some big, ugly bastard now. And we've dropped all of our guns and stuff. I mean, we've dropped our gun. And this game's actually been very stingy with weapons. Pet shop. Ooh. Oh, God. Let's... Hang on. Right. Ooh. One fully charged attack knocks it straight out. Let's try our little zap zap on these guys. Well... There's plenty of dags around here. Oh, he's... Oh, fuck. Uh... I mean... Yeah? Yeah! Oh. Okay. This thing is insane. This thing is absolutely insane. I was expecting it to be rather shit. But hey, I'm not hey, there's a key there. Nice, just got a double kill. Double kill. And double kill with the boot as well. Right, give me that. Uh what does that say? Uh it's enough cat food for an army of cats. Uh I don't think so, but okay, you found keys. Will you take them? Albert Sport Shop key. Cool. Yeah, man. This this bloody oh, okay come on little Fido although I suppose the drawback of it is the short range yeah the range is a bit of a pain for it but there we go we got him we got him oh shit got back up fuck Come here. Come here, you little twat. Okay. Maybe it's not quite as good against these things as I was hoping. Run, 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 run. Okay, so you can't always get them. Ah, oh, fuck. Right, use that. Although, they go down pretty easy with a bat without charging it, too. Which is interesting. Um, okay, cool. So, is there anything else in here? So, we've got some keys. There's another door there that we haven't been into. Can't see anything else on the shelves. What about where that dog was? Oh, nothing here. Okay, so we've got some keys. <clears throat> That's cool. And that just leads back out here. But what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to go back and save it, because we're out of time. If I'm lucky, I've got enough time to record one more video. It's cool to actually finally have some weapons. Like, I don't think this bat's going to break. It doesn't mention that it's fragile. So, and whilst I go off camera, I can, of course, <coughs> save the game and regen our health because we took a lot of a lot of damage. Not sure about the stun gun. Like, against those monkeys, it puts them down, like, straight away, at least so far. Further research, I think, is needed. Is that a medikit? Up there on the shelf? No, I don't think so. Uh, so, yeah, further research is needed on that. But... The bat seems very powerful. But where where does that put the guns? Like, what's the point in them? The melee combat, although clunky and fiddly and quite slow, 
it does work. It works very well. Well, yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair. It does. It works very well. Once you get used to the quirks. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to save this video here. It's nice that we've actually started making some progress now. So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.